Uh oh. This looks like a larger version of the OP pigs from the uh, opening village, Jula. I don't know why I'd think that I could break that even, but figured worth a shot. It definitely seems like I should be able to get in there. Um, oh, this is attached to this, more or less. Uh, can I climb up here? If this was Assassin's Creed, maybe I could. I bet I can break it down. Maybe that one over there will collapse, like, partially. Lacerating arrows will inflict bleeding. Because, like, if I could break down this side of this... Ah, uh, yeah, nope. So much for that plan. I couldn't see anywhere to climb up it, though. Regardless, I can't help but feel like that was probably the way to get into here. Not that I can even explicitly see any items in there. Titanite shards are always welcome. I'll take real good care of them. I was actually trying to jump onto the roof of that, but looks like there might actually be stuff if we can get into the, uh... There we go. Holy water. Feels like that's probably an equipable item. Cleanse undead. An urn filled with crystal clear water, originally intended as a soothing potion. This water scalds the skin of undead and hollows. In the old capital of Mira, an ancient, well-protected spring produces holy water, but the water has been difficult to acquire ever since Mira became embroiled in war. Haha! -ha. I have found my way inside of this hut yet. Five human effigies! Oh, you're not planning on killing me a lot, are you, game? Because it sounds, it sounds like you're planning on killing me, like, really a lot. That sound is rather unsettling. <laughs> Bonfire! I believe we did not actually come from here. Oh yeah, we did. Which means this over here is probably progressy. Oh, this looks like it's Trap City. Yeah, that's a pretty obvious trap, actually. Bitch. Oh, you didn't get trapped on. But you gonna get arrowed on, son. Headshots are satisfying in this game. Oh, it's trying to get him to turn into it. Okay, whatever. We'll climb up now. He's pretty low health. Oh. 
Where's your traps now? That was probably the most, most one of the more obvious traps that I've ever seen. I won't say the most, but it was it was rather rather obvious. At the same time, what are you supposed to do about it if you don't have like a bow and arrow or something like that that you can equip? How do I want to deal with these guys? I certainly want to, like, keep enough distance that I, uh, I can't just get comboed down and, like, get cursed all the way. Dude, your friends is abandoning you. You need better friends. There's a lot of bloodstains here. Were people actually falling for the giant boulder trap back there? Were they just... I guess I could see people getting impatient of these guys and dying a lot. Hell, they'd be downright hard if I was still using the short sword. Like, that just doesn't have the range to fight them the way I just fought them. Looks like we're gonna wrap around and end up over there. There's like a, a big church or something. Goes down into a mine. And what is going on in this peasant village? But that guy's... That guy's got... Got some serious bad attitude going on there. Dual wielding great swords. Large Titanite Shards, love it. I wonder if that door is even going to open for me after I fight these guys. Oh, jerk. I'm going to play it a little bit greedy. Not uber greedy, I'm just going to not use- ooh, 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 spiders. Not the biggest fan of the spiders. I'm just not going to use an Estus here. I could take another medium-sized hit and still uh, heal the full. I think when I go far enough into here, it's going to flood with spiders. Just like the holes in the wall and the spiders on the door. That weird clicking spidery sound. Guys, I'm not very happy about this. Alright. What does the blood stain do? How do I die here? All that really told me is that it's possible to fight something here. There's a whole lot of kiting going on. Oh god. Okay. Ambush ahead. Try luring it out. Okay. Yeah, that spider's pretty visible. Is there an ambush behind us as well? that's been my concern, is that this room here would flood with spiders. God, that's a big spider, guys. I'm not actually so convinced that I want to be fighting these in the open. It might have been better to fight them in the choke. They're very fast, though, when they decide to attack. It's somehow only more unsettling when they just... disappear. Hit me, spider bro! Hit me! Oh, jerk. 
he wasn't supposed to actually hit me, you know? He's supposed to, like, hit the shield. I'm still not entirely convinced that there won't be more spiders in here when I walk in. So I want to, as much as possible, like, kill them before going in. It seemed pretty thorough. There's no... There's no, uh, chains here anymore. Also, we can no longer hear the clicking of those spiders. Uh. I don't- I don't know what that thing was doing. <laughs> Did this guy just try and back himself into the spiders? That might be true. There might be more stuff behind this door. It's hard to tell. Uh oh. Try beating to a pull. Thanks for the cool tip, bro. <laughs> Let's take stock here. Four S's flasks, six radiant life gems. Let's just get the Estus out and go for it. Oh, wow. Um, oh, okay. Dear God, no. I mean, I kind of feel like I need to clear out the hollows, but I also kind of feel like I need to kill this guy. And I also feel like I need to heal. No. Oh. should have drank my Estus before killing that guy. That felt like it could have been the run-up to a real boss fight, you know? Alright, I did try beating into a pulp, and it worked. What those were, I do not know. Those full of holy water? Think that sounds just the wind? It's got a rating of six. It does look like it could be hiding fat loot. Let's do it. I think that was mostly just a shortcut, though. <laughs> we'll open this door, even though... Well, I could clearly just attack it once to break it open. Oh, what up, spider bro? Oh, no. We'll finish this fight with it. After that, though, we gotta... We gotta switch to the club or something. Repair powder might actually be really nice. Yeah, that is, that is pretty low. And man, are we ever screwed if that breaks. We're, we're crazy screwed if it breaks. Scimitar plus one, like, what do we want? What do we want here? The Bastard Sword, honestly, is really nice. Um, and, you know, we've got Bastard Swords that aren't plus five. We're very used to its moveset. Seems like it could be reasonable. Royal Greatsword. Now oh, we can use that for a little bit here. It 
does a little bit less damage, but it also does bleed damage. We can't one-hand this, and I really am enjoying having a shield right now. Oh, the Black Scorpion Stinger. I hadn't checked this out at all. Man Scorpion Tark's Thrusting Sword. Scorpion Pincer Guard contains poison, which is injected into foes pierced by the blade. Tark's past is a thing obscure, but then again, do any of us know who we are, let alone what we may have been? Let's equip it just to see what it looks like. It's a pretty badass weapon. I can see how it makes us look like a man scorpion. In terms of stats, it's actually, like, pretty excellent. 67 bleed damage, 146 damage. Pretty substantial. Or not bleed, poison, rather. We'd need two more dexterity to equip it. That might be, uh, that might be something we check out in the near future. Right now, though, we don't have the stats for it. Charcoal Pine Resin. Fire to right-hand weapon. Ooh. That sounds awesome. Oh, that's right. We do have a slightly, uh, slightly different weapon. So that's pretty similar. That's a that's a piercing attack rather than an overhead. That's pretty nice. Uh, does the piercing have any follow-up? Yes, it does. Alright, cool. Seems like we'll still have our ability to kind of clear out big waves of foes. And I hear a crystal lizard. What do we want to do against it? I mean, that works, but will that? Maybe not. We might have to do it with uh, the lunging attacks. Crystal Lizard off to the right here. No. All right, let's see if we can climb back up. Alright, we'll deal with that problem later. 